In the suburbs of Berlin sits this recently constructed collection of new apartment buildings. The project is called Future Living Berlin, a $47 million complex which opened last year and consists of 90 new built apartments in 14 separate towers. But what sets it apart is its focus on sustainability. The designers say these apartments have been constructed with the future squarely in mind, with electricity, heating and mobility needs all linked digitally on site in a central control system, which can in turn be managed by residents to help reduce energy usage. At the moment, there, there are many of housing companies are trying something new, especially in the terms of energy. At the moment, there is no other project that is really covering so many teams, themes as we do. So we not only uh, try to be uh, CO2 neutral, we also address mobility, we address the aging society, we age the sharing society. Over 50% of the building's energy and heating needs is powered from specially designed rooftop solar panels, all angled in a certain way to maximise absorption times from the sun throughout the day. On-site batteries help store excess power for later use and residents can recharge electric share cars on-site. If you produce your own energy and you use it where you are, you don't sell it, you know. A lot of uh, buildings in Germany nowadays have uh, um, sun collectors, but they, they sell the energy more into the electricity network. But if you use it uh, for the tenants, you don't have to pay a part of the taxes and, and, and. So it's always cheaper. Germany wants to become carbon neutral by 2045, but to do that, it will need to find ways to make big residential towers, like the one being constructed here behind me, more energy efficient. Experts say that on-site energy production will be critical to helping the country meet its goals. But there are questions about the pricing impact that could have long term on the housing market. Urban design experts like Professor Marco Aiello from the University of Stuttgart say such calculations need to take a long-term view. A building is something that you should consider for 30 years at least, right? So that's more or less the lifespan of a building. On that lifespan, you can amortize um, sustainability things because you're going to get a payback. So it makes sense even from an economic point of view. But the payback times are long for many of the users. That type of long-term thinking will be key to helping the world tackle climate change, as will cross-industry collaboration between architects, engineers and town planners to ensure that cities big and small can grow and prosper for the next generation of residents. Trent Murray, CGTN, Berlin.